Hi everyone, my name is Alan and welcome to the second week of my journey towards becoming a better artist. This week we're going to work on profiles, so let's start by looking at some of the studies that I did to start the week off and some tips that I can give you that can hopefully help you when drawing your own profiles. So as usual I started out with drawing over some references. This week I also picked uh, Silica from SAO and I picked Alzina as well. Overall when drawing the face from the side, first of all you can break it down into halves. The top half is going to have the forehead and the eye, the second half is going to have the nose, the chin and, and the lips. You can break it down into thirds to have a more precise idea of where to place the features and you're gonna have the bottom of the nose, the lips and the chin. Also something else that I thought was important to pay attention to was just the distance between the side of the eye and the side of the nose because if you put it too close or too far away your image is immediately going to start looking off. Finally one last tip while drawing the eye, keep in mind that you are looking at it from the side so the pupil in itself is not going to be a circle but it's going to be more like a squished oval so that's something that you want to keep in mind because it will add a bit of realism to the overall drawing. So now that we've done some studies from the side, let's move on to using photo reference and doing some imaginative work. Keeping in mind what I learned last week, one of the first things that I wanted to incorporate into this first drawing from imagination was to actually have a sense of gesture to it as opposed to I mean, something very stiff. So you see that overall it's going to look like she's looking up with her head. I also wanted to start incorporating expressions. I didn't push really anything too much here. I think I just wasn't really comfortable at this point, but it's something that you're gonna see more and more as we move forward with uh, with the week. Personally I love drawing side views. I think it's sort of the easiest one just because you don't have any issues with symmetry, you don't have any issues with perspective really, so usually it's a point of view that's pretty easy to draw. Looking back at this one I think one of the main things that I would change is just how the bottom half of the face is really pretty much on a straight line with the forehead instead of being slightly pushed out and so that's something that I kept in mind with the next ones that you're gonna see. The second drawing that I want to show you is this one of this girl with the bun. I kind of like drawing this one. I just think it's, even though I started to incorporate an expression, I failed completely when it came to the hair design. And so just looking back, I think it's really important to review your work because it gives you a sense of which areas you need to tackle next when you're doing your studies and where you need to focus most of your energy on. So for me, hair is a big weakness and it's something that I plan on really zeroing in, both in terms of design as well as coloring and painting. So because of this, I've decided to do a few more studies from reference for hair before moving on to guys. Also, while drawing guys, I had a bunch of photo references to the side of different people in real life with different hairstyles so that I could have more ideas while drawing. And that's sort of the way I like to use references just to supplement my own imagination, especially in the areas where I feel the weakest, like in this case, hair. Do you guys also struggle with hair? Let me know in the comments below what you find really difficult to draw so that I can keep it in mind also when moving forward with this series. So after having drawn a whole bunch of guys with somewhat different hairstyles, I decided to do one more study from Yoka before moving back to drawing girls. At this point, one of the drawings that I was the least happy about was this guy because of the way in which I drew the mouth. Specifically, I didn't want it, I wanted to be open, but I didn't want it to look like that. It felt really, off and I didn't really know how to tackle it so I just decided to move on but then I drew a girl with kind of the same expression and I didn't want to get stuck again on the same spot so I decided to look for an anime or a manga where they had done a similar expression to see how they had tackled it and that's when I came across this image of Ami Kamoshima from Toradora and I decided to take inspiration for that to apply it into the drawing of the girl that I'm gonna show you right now. So in the second half of the week, I pretty much just kept on practicing and one of the things that I really focused on was trying to think back to the first week so as not to make kind of the same exact mistakes. And one of the things that I wanted to incorporate was just having hands in the picture just to convey the expression somewhat better. And that's what gave me the idea for the guy that you're seeing on screen right now. To be honest, since this week was on profiles and I felt kind of comfortable with them, 
Boredom started to kick in pretty quickly in the second half and I usually have a goal of doing at least 25 of those faces every week before moving on to the, the next angle or, or just in general the next topic. But anyway, I decided to just go for it so I kept on drawing more and more of them until I actually reached 25. And then I went back, picked that guy that I was really unhappy with because of the design of his mouth fixed him up a bit and decided to color him. As you know, I'm not really happy with how I'm coloring right now, so I'm definitely going to devote an entire week to that. Anyway, I still wanted to have something colorful to show for the week, so I went ahead, colored, and I think the air turned out really bad, but anyway. <laughs> That's it for profile views. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Next week, we're gonna go over three quarter views, and that's it. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.